Alright, hello and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. Um, I'll be using this seed, and I'll be starting a new world here. Yeah. And I'm actually recording audio this time. This is my second attempt. First time I wasn't recording any audio. Now, this seed does not include where you spawn, so first thing I'm going to do is head in the direction of where I want to go, and then make a bed and sleep in it so I don't, uh... Okay, clay and squid. This is awesome. the rest of you guys alone. Now, where'd that clay go? There it is. Uh, so yeah, I have several mods installed. Um, the biggest and coolest <laughs> is the industrial craft mod. Um, but I also have several others, including, but obviously, uh, uh, some of Rusugami's mods. Obviously there's the mod loader, obviously, but uh, I also have the death chest, spawner GUI, and floodgate mods. Um, <clears throat> then I have a few other side, oh, and recipe book, I forgot that one. I also have the recipe book mod, that's why I picked up the um, squid ink sacks, because I'll need those for making a recipe book later. Um, let's see, I also have an elevator mod, which takes, um, like, I think it's like seven stone, a redstone, and a diamond to make, and then it works just like a real elevator. You place it on the ground, and it will take you up and take you down. It's, kind of cool. I don't know if I'll actually use it, but it's cool. It's cool. Um, I also have um, Zombies Mod Pack on, but not all of it. Only some of the mods. And I'll go into more detail on the which ones I've got later. Alright, this is one of them. <laughs> I actually spawned really near to where I wanted to be, so that's really cool. Um, yeah. So, let me just make sure I can find my uh, where I want to be here. It's always tricky fighting the first time, is this it? Yeah, this is it. Yep. Alright, now, wood. What I'll be doing is I'll be planting a whole bunch of... Ooh, like, I'll be planting a whole bunch of trees in, in this area, so this will eventually grow into a nice forest. And then I'll just have to be careful not to sit down. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, obviously not the one that says get, press E to open your inventory, but the achievements are all... Actually, yeah, okay. All reset. So I've gotten them all, with the exception of the cake one and the ride a pig off a cliff one. But otherwise, I've gotten all the achievements. But it's reset, so that's kind of cool. <clears throat> the way you reset it is... I'm not 100% sure of this, so don't totally quote me on this. But, as I understand it, if oops, they're in the Minecraft.jar file. And if you mess it up, or if you say if you delete it and get a new one, then it um, erases your achievements. Which is both intriguing 
end kind of worrying because if that's where they're saved, what if you want to add a mod or something? I mean, right now they have no bearing to the game; they're just kind of cool. So I don't know. I think if it's, I think something like that will get fixed eventually, if that is a, in fact a problem. Okay, we'll plant this tree. Um, I think we'll plant this tree right near where I want to my base to be, if I can find it again. See, this is the problem. It's tricky to find. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right here. Okay. Alright, time to punch this pig first. Oh yeah, another mod I've got. I have no idea where I, how I got the mod, but one of the mods I have adds a shift-click function where if I shift click, it will craft all, basically. It's the cr I think it's from Zombies Mod Pack. In fact, I know it is, and I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Oops. Oh well, Pig lives for another few minutes. Now I have 40 sticks and no wood. Oh well. Yeah, so, those are the mods I've got. Oh, I, I really thought that would take, uh, longer. Alright, um, let's see, Zombies Mod Pack, uh, I'm using the World Information Mod, which, you s push S12, you get this, F12, uh, it also provides the time in-game in the corner. Um, I'm also using the pathfinding mod, so push a button and it shows me the path where I've been. Kind of cool. Um, it's useful if you die to retrace your steps. See now I'm tracing back the way I came. Kind of neat. Um, I have the fly mod enabled. But I'm not going to use it too much. Um, I might use it occasionally, but I'm going to try not to because that just feels like cheating. And I've tried to stick to mods that make sense. Also, um, you'll notice I'm digging over here. That is because I'm a big fan of subterranean structures. Big fan. I love digging underground structures that are totally invisible to the outside viewer. It's really fun. cave down there. No, I just went really deep down all of a sudden. Hmm. Need to figure out how I'm gonna do this. I think actually instead of doing that, I'm going to um focus on gathering wood and, and stuff like that now so that then I can go underground and have everything I need to be there for a while because my door is going to be kind of elaborate. Let's see here. Yeah, okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Oh, okay, here we go. 
I was gonna say wrong door. Um, yeah, okay. This is the 11. Should be enough. Oh, sun's going down. Not good, not good. Um. Uh, oh, duh, of course. I don't know what I'll do. Sheep, sheep, sheep. I need a sheep. Like, now. Can't go to bed without a sheep, although granted my spawn point isn't that far away. I've been typically I've been getting really far away spawns, but never mind, here's a sheep. The problem is of course I don't have any coal. I just now realized that. I haven't seen any coal. Hmm. This could be bad. This is another mod I've got installed. It um, lights everything up, as you can see. Because I know that by the time this gets to YouTube, you probably won't be able to see it. So, yeah. I can see just fine in the dark, as typical. There's a spider. Need to get back to my base here. There it is. Glad I planted that sapling. Okay, now I need to think this through here. Ah, coal. That is just downright perfect. And only one lump. Somehow I'm not surprised. Alrighty. There you go. Give me my wood back. Okay. Now... Yay, four torches. Good more coal. Now, basically, I'm going to hollow out this room. I'll probably um, unhollow out this room later. This is just temporarily. This will be my temporary base of operations, but it will eventually be my, um, door, basically. I figured out this really cool trick where you can, um, have basically have your door be underwater. And the beauty of having an underwater door is the monsters, the mobs, can't go underwater. So, they'll be able to come up under the water, underneath them, if they happen to be above you. Alright, that's enough coal for the moment. Um, get some more stone here. Alright. So, oh shoot, let me do that. Put you there. Alright, um... Bed. Sword. And sh 
shovel. And axe. And chest. appreciated. Good night. Hello. Thank you for the... F nothing? <laughs> Alright, this is ridiculous. I'm trying to reset my spawn point. Stone pickaxe. Oops. Bone will come in really nice. Really handy later. In fact, I may want to bring it with me next time I go back out onto the surface just so I can um, make those trees go real grow real fast. <coughs> That's... that's just not fair. Oh well. This is when the path track comes really handy. Huh? Oh, hello, spider. Do you have any string on you? Mm. Well, don't be mm. like that. No string. Lame. <laughs> okay, now that's also really lame. This is ridiculous. How am I supposed to do, do this? I guess I have to just go in with enough health to just tank the first couple hits and then hope I grab my sword on my first try. Yeah, okay. But I don't know, how did I get bar up there? Because I was never flying. Oh well. Actually, I, I know what I'll do. Just finish this out here. Oh, look at my torch. Put you there. Any other torches? No, I've got coal though. There we go. Mm. 
I'm liking this. Now, I'm gonna figure out what I did up here. Ah, I see what I did. It's always annoying, but it'll be worth it. Oh, naturally. Ah, there we go. Okay. Creepers. Whoa, that is a lot of creepers. Did I get him down here okay? Yeah, they're there. Okay, they're there. They're both here. Looks like they're both stuck. They are creeping me out right now. <laughs> Alright, got them both. How much gunpowder did I get? Only two. Lame. Oh well. Let's go kill that pig. Creeper. That was really freaky. That was just like I turn around. Oh, hello, creeper. You need something? How about a sword in the face? You don't like that? Wait, what are you doing? Ah! <laughs> oh dear. I have a hole to clean up. I don't even know how to clean this hole up. a giant creeper hole. <laughs> Guess that'll have to do till I come back later. Alright, let's make some bone meal here. Um, I 
know, there's just not much to talk about, I guess. <laughs> the, um... Whoa. Ow. Wasn't expecting that. Probably should have been. There's a cave under there. Where that skeleton was, there's a cave there. And, um... <clears throat> that one block is open to the surface, if you will. So that's kind of amusing. Alright, that should be it. And I replant the tree. sure why I'm killing cows. I mean, all they give me is leather, and leather doesn't have that many uses. I don't know, it's just there's something about collecting the leather that I feel like I have to do. But, um, I'm not really a big fan of armor. For one, it covers up my skin. For another, it, um, Just, I mean, sure, it provides protection against damage, but it's either too expensive, like it's diamond or armor or something, or it's so cheap that it's gonna break in two seconds, like leather. So I've just never really worn armor. I'd rather just bring lots of bread and pork chops. when this all grows up. Just in time for nightfall. Sweet. Come on, cat. There we go. Ow. Did not take damage. Alright, I'm going to stop here for now, but I'll see you later. Bye.